one is Stalin back with Pam Pierce Sense. And I know that we're supposed to put the natural ingredient, and I'm going to add, I already have oat powder in here, oat flour. I like putting oat flour in most of my soaps because it just helps with itchy skin. So, time to love up. I forgot to do that. I have powder everywhere again. But anyways, and I made these in an embed. I found these at the Dollar Tree. They're a little supposed to look like, but they're ice cubes, silicone ice cube trays. And what I did was made some soap dough out of some of my liquid soap that I make, and I just add cornstarch to it. This one turned out a lot better because I got the consistency right. These ones, not so pretty. <laughs> but here they are. They're going on anyways. I mean, sometimes you just go with it. So anyways, and then I'm going to have my green, which just morphs into like an olive color, and it will come back. And then I'm going to go ahead and use some yellow and some of the Make Me Blush pinky color to go with my roses. And the fragrance I'm using is a Jasmine Rose. It's a Tide type dupe fragrance. And I know that it's going to accelerate. So, my plan is, and then I also want to add a little bit of the alfalfa leaf to the bottom. That would be another natural ingredient with the green. And some rose clay to add with the pink color. Another natural ingredient. So, it's getting late and I have to get up, go to work in the morning and I'm tired. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this going. I'll probably, since I explained everything, what I'm going to do is hopefully have a bottom layer of green and then have like an in the pot swirl of the the white, the pink, and the yellow, and hopefully another on the top layer of green, and then place the the embeds on the top. And this is going to be a five pound batch. So now that I explained everything, I'll just fast forward past all the fun stuff. And it is cold down here. I have a little electric heater in front of me blowing directly on me. And I did with my lye water. I decided to I had a little bit of beer left. I am just a beer soap fanatic. I love the beer soaps. It's just my favorite. It stinks to high heaven when it's curing, but it goes away. So, let's get this in here. And I also added sodium lactate and a little bit of sugar. I love those bubbles. I have been not feeling well. Thank God it's about over. Nothing worse than being sick and trying to get stuff done. It feels like it zaps the life force out of you. And I will just add my fragrance a little at a time to each of the colors because oh, it's been a while since I've used this fragrance. If I remember right, it is an accelerator. Start with that. And I will go ahead and get my alfalfa powder. I'm going to move some stuff out of the way for y'all to see. 
kudos to all you soapers out there that can just keep your work area just just immaculate because I am not that person. I'm more of a make a huge mess and have to clean it up at the end. <laughs> We'll just add our, go ahead and add our uh, mica. And it's going to turn ugly. And we're supposed to have a green. So let's go ahead and get it in there. is because it's so cold down here the cord is stiff. It's driving me nuts. Alright tell you what doctor had to give put me on a steroid to help this stuff and it's having my heart is crazy. It looks like it went more fluid, so maybe I was wrong. Maybe this one didn't accelerate. I'm going to put a little more in, because you know what? I can. I just am worried it's going to be an ugly brown green. <laughs> start finally kicking out more videos. We finally figured out a way to hopefully make it to where we can upload videos a little faster around here because I don't know how many times I've attempted to upload a video. It takes between 11 and 13 hours. And if there's a pause in the internet, Guess what? I get to start over. Which is fine. We don't give up around here. But. You know what I also forgot? I forgot my water. So. Imagine that. Totally killed another stick blender. I am the stick blending killing queen. So if anybody else out there has that title, share with me because I don't know how many stick I've probably killed at least six in the last two years. And I just don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. I mean I've seen some people have the same stick blender and use it for four years and no issues. I have one for two months and that's a miracle. So, this is starting to set up, so I need to shut up and get on moving on it.
guys hear me breathing hard, I apologize, but uh, this stuff has been kind of lingering like a bad date, I can tell you. I like using my clays to make masks because I'm getting older and you know, you know how it goes. Anything to help out. So, I'm hoping, and I did get something, I'm going to make a video tomorrow when I get home from work, where I purchased, it's a pneumatic aluminum, aluminum can crusher to use as a bath bomb press, and the cost is just, just a smidgen compared to some of the others. So, and I was like, if it doesn't work out, it's not like I couldn't use it for something else. Because I'm the type of person, if, it, if you can't use it for one thing, I will find something to use it for. So. I've been playing around with a lot of ideas in my head here lately, so I'm hoping to share them with you guys. Maybe you can use it or lose it. <laughs> I don't care. I love to help people and share things. so pretty. I think that rose clay really helps accentuate that mica colorant.
back to cut the 2020 flower power. how she turned out. I kind of dropped it coming out of the mold so it has a few of them that's kind of not as pretty as what they once were. But there's our embeds. This, they'll get darker. And you can see some of the rose powder, uh, rose clay powder. I mean and we have a little bit of green. Mm, it smells amazing. I love that smell. It's just a good mix between the rose and the uh, jasmine. They really do complement each other. Nothing like a good compliment. You don't really see any of my yellow. I think I mixed it too long, too much. It is very, very hint. Just a smidgen right there. Here and there. And on these, you can see here at the end, you have a little bit up close and personal here. You can see where some of that alfalfa powder started making it turn an ugly brown.